Welcome to the lecture series of mechanics of solids. In this lecture, we are going to learn about moment of inertia of rectangular section. Outline of the session. In this session, we will calculate the moment of inertia of rectangular section about first centroidal axis and second, we work out the moment of inertia of rectangular section about its base. So let us start calculating the moment of inertia of rectangular section. So this is a rectangle which is having width B and depth D. And this is the centroidal axis XX and this axis is centroidal axis YY. Now we want to work out the moment of inertia of this rectangle about its centroidal axis XX. For that consider a small strip of thickness dy and the distance of the small strip from the centroidal axis is y. We will start with the strip. First of all we will work out the area of strip. After that we will work out the moment of inertia of the strip about centroidal axis. Now we will use this moment of inertia of this strip to work out the moment of inertia of the complete rectangular by taking integration with in the limit of depth of the rectangle. So let us start working out the area of strip first. Strip is rectangular so the area is length into width. The length of the strip is B and the width is dy. So area of rectangular strip dA that is equal to B into dy. Now let us work out second moment of area of the strip about xx axis. Now second moment of area of the strip about xx axis that is equal to area into distance into distance. So area of the strip is dA and the distance of the strip from neutral axis means the axis about which we want to work out moment of inertia that is y. So the second moment of area or moment of inertia of the strip about xx axis is this dA into y square. Now using this moment of inertia we will work out the moment of inertia of the complete rectangle. So to get the moment of inertia of this complete rectangle about centroidal axis we will integrate the moment of inertia of the strip in the limit of minus d by 2 to plus d by 2. So integrating with the limit of minus d by 2 to d by 2 and the integration of the moment of inertia of this strip that is dA into y square is to be done. Here instead of dA the area of rectangle that is b into dy has been replaced. In this term the constant b has been taken out and the integration of y square with respect to dy has been done. So integration of y square that is y cube by 3. Now applying the limit minus d by 2 to plus d by 2. Here the limit plus d by 2 to minus d by 2 has been applied and after the simplification the ixx has been obtained as bd cube by 12. So the moment of inertia of the rectangle about centroidal axis xx that is bd cube by 12 and if we work out moment of inertia of this rectangle about yy axis it will be db cube by 12. So these are the important equation to determine the moment of inertia of rectangular section about centroidal axis. Now let us work out the moment of inertia of rectangle section about its base. So for that we will start with the figure first. Now this is a rectangle which is having width B and depth D. We want to work out the moment of inertia of this rectangle about its base. For that let us consider the elemental strip of width dy which is at distance y from the base. So first of all 
will work out the area of this elemental strip. So the area of rectangle strip that is width B into thickness dy. Now let us work out moment of inertia of the strip about base. Now to calculate moment of inertia of the whole area integrate in the limit of 0 to D. So I base that is integration of moment of inertia of strip in the limit of 0 to D. Now area of strip B into dy has been equated in this step and in this step the constant term has been taken out so the integration of y square with respect to dy has to be done integration of y square that is y cube by 3 and the limit is 0 to d now equating the limit here it will be b into d cube by 3 so finally we have got the moment of inertia about base that is b d cube by 12 so this is the required equation of moment of inertia of rectangle section about base. Here we have worked out the moment of inertia of rectangular section about sinusoidal axis xx yy and about the base. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any doubt or query, please write in the comment box. I will be there to help you. Thank you. Thank you very much.